Let's start with the Republican Party's $115 million man. A little shy of that, but if you look at Jeb Bush's big first fundraising take, his campaign, which is smaller donations, uh, raised $11.4 million from his launch to the end of June. That's a lot of money in just really a few weeks. And then look at the Super PAC number. Jeb Bush spent a lot of time traveling in the spring, raising money for his Super PAC, $103 million. Dollars. Uh, that is an arsenal for a guy who, for all the troubles we talked about in the spring, has actually stabilized in the polls. He's not in a great position, but he's in an okay position. You have to look at his position in the polls and all that money and say, if he's not the front runner, he's at least the most formidable. They did a good job of tempering expectations here, because I think we all thought that this was going to be a big number, and it is. How he raised it, though, is really interesting, and it's also raising some eyebrows, because, you know, he didn't, he prolonged the period before he actually declared, allowing him to walk, to go around and raise this enormous amount of money for the Super PAC. Right. So it, it, that, that's something that's going to be discussed going forward, I have a feeling. And you look at the other Republicans, Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio, half or a little less than half of what Jeb Bush raised, still pretty good take for them. Yeah. Uh, in, in normal years, we'd be saying, wow, that's a good number for Ted Cruz. Wow, that's a pretty good number for Marco Rubio. Hillary Clinton's number, uh, 45 million for her campaign, about 24 million. We're waiting for the final numbers of the Super PAC. One of the things that's interesting is, does the money become an issue?